weekend of tennis kicks off this Friday at Midtown Athletic Club in Bannockburn for the Glassa Chicago Wheelchair Classic Tennis Tournament. Joining us now with all the details is Paul Moran and Dr. Jason Allen. Gentlemen, thank you for being here. Thank Pleasure. you for having Thank us. Having. There's a lot going on this weekend, so let's start. The tournament starts with an up-down tournament and then goes into a full weekend uh, of competition, correct? That's correct. Um, we're going to have an up-down Friday starting, I think, around 6. Um, Can you explain for folks at home what up-down so is? So an up-down, we're going to have able-bodied players, people who play traditional tennis, and then they'll be partnered up with one of our glass athletes, somebody playing uh, wheelchair tennis. And uh, one of the differences, if you're playing wheelchair tennis, you're allowed a second bounce. So we'll have one player who's playing the ball in one bounce or one player using the potential second bounce. Yeah. All right. All right. You got a little pickleball going on maybe one day or somewhere? Uh, pickleball <laughs> is always there for you. It's a very accessible uh, sport. And it's, I think, the, one of the fastest growing sports yeah. in, the, in the world all right, right now. Well, we don't want to change things no, right we're away, all but I, just, you know, I had to throw that out there. And, and, and Jason, we were uh, talking about the fact that it's being moved this year to the Midtown Athletic Club in Bannockburn. And that has a very specific reason as to why. Absolutely. You know, Midtown is one of the premier tennis facilities in the country. Mm -hmm. Tennis is what we do best, and anybody that works in tennis would love to work at Midtown. And part of that is that it's this extremely accessible building. We have the nicest facilities. It would be great for the athletes that come to participate. They will be able to move easily throughout the building. And it's, it's big. We have lots of courts. Uh, and, of course, uh, I, I asked to have it at our club. Uh, I used to work formerly for the USTA as the manager of wheelchair tennis for the United States and was the team leader for Team USA for the Paralympics in Tokyo 2020. Mm -hmm. And so I asked the uh, corporate higher-ups if we could host it in Bannonburn, and they said yes, thankfully. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Paul, talk a little bit about why it's so important for everyone to get involved in a tournament like this. Uh, it's, it's, it's just a great opportunity for people who have disabilities to see what, what's available out there you know we got we right now we've got enough players but other players come out there and see what's out there you know that's how I got involved I was actually a Paralympian playing volleyball in 1992 mm -hmm. and my uh, tennis teammates took me to the first women's finals that was the first time that the Paralympics uh, had wheelchair tennis as an event and uh, I, I was as somebody who played a little tennis growing up I was more of a baseball player mm -hmm. than other stuff um, I, I soon got involved in that at Midtown Tennis Club in Chicago. And uh, actually, the, uh, uh, Alan Schwartz mm -hmm. um, uh, gave me a free membership. I paid for my dues there, and that's how I got started many years ago. Mm -hmm. And now I work at the Nielsen Tennis Center in Winneka, where we had this tournament last year. But I'm really excited that uh, Jason's on board and that we're going to be taking it to Bannockburn because uh, it's a really nice, accessible, you all to, you know, roll right off the court in your tennis, your tennis chair, which is a little bit wider. It's got big... Big, you know, like angled, angled wheels, wheels, so you turn yeah. real easy. And now they'll be able to like go right off the court into the bathroom, come back on the court. You know, it's, 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 right. it's, it's going to be And fun. you pointed out that that's important, especially in this age of diversity, equity, and inclusion, because a lot of people don't think of uh, uh, the ability, the disability, um, as part of that group. But it, it, it like you Absolutely. said, it'll affect everyone at some point. Absolutely. When we think of DE&I nowadays, we quickly go to uh, gender, ethnicity, things like that. But disability is is part of that population. Mm -hmm. And disability is something that could potentially affect any of us at any time in our lives. Mm -hmm. uh, so it is important to bring awareness to athletes with disabilities. And there's both the physical side and the cognitive side. This particular tournament is athletes with physical disabilities. But adaptive tennis is also a huge part of what we do. Uh, across the country, which is more cognitive. And this is something that is open for everybody this weekend, at least to come out and watch, uh, maybe even to help with, I would understand, yeah? Absolutely. If, if people are interested in volunteering, uh, GLASA is nationally recognized as one of the best adaptive sports organizations in the country. Just go to their website, and you can find tons of opportunities not only to participate in this tournament, but in any other events they have. Mm -hmm. And Paul, you're going to be a busy man. You're going to be coaching and playing. Yeah, I'm really looking forward to it. Yeah. Uh, uh, a lot of our players that come to our Saturday practices at my club uh, will be there competing this weekend. And uh, I'm playing with one of our veterans, uh, Roosevelt Anderson, and I'm looking forward to playing against uh, some folks I've, I've known for a long time. Uh, the, the number one seed is a young guy that was like a junior when I was playing in the C division and worked my way up you know, the letter division. So now he's the top dog in the A division, and I'm looking forward to giving, trying to take him down, giving right? Kevin Green another uh, good run for his money. Well, yeah. and before we let you go, we should brag a little bit. You are a five-time para-athlete, correct? Uh, that, that's correct. I, uh, I, I went to Barcelona, kind of snuck on the sitting volleyball team, and uh, played four Paralympics playing sitting volleyball. 
And my last one, I realized I was getting good enough at tennis and, and uh, retired from volleyball and, and been all on board for tennis ever since. Amazing. So Although I do make time for wheelchair softball during the summer. Oh, that's good. Oh, okay, good. Yeah, he makes a little, a little time I guess for a little time. sport. Uh, yeah, make sure you check out the event. As I mentioned, Midtown Athletic Club in Bannockburn this weekend, starting tomorrow through Sunday. Volunteer the numbers on your screen. Then, of course, the website is glasa.org.